Hello everyone, this is David, Fairly Secret Music. Uh, this is a response video, or no, a contest entry for um, Metal Mickey's 500 subs contest. And uh, Mike was the guy who uh, basically gave me my first shout out, brought a lot of people to my channel, and I appreciate that. Uh, so congratulations on having 500 subs. Um, you totally deserve that. I love your videos. Uh, the funny thing with Mike is 75% of the stuff that I suggest to him, he thinks is crap. And uh, so every once in a while, I'll think, oh, this is this, he's going to totally like this. And I send it to him, and he thinks it's just garbage. And. <laughs> <laughs> so, I haven't pinned him down yet in his musical tastes. My stupid furnace just went on. So, let's get this going. So, what band do I think was going to be bigger, but they never were? That would be King's X. This band was awesome. I went to a Billy Squire concert because Blue Murder were opening, and King's X were the band that we didn't even know about. They totally blew me away. In about eight or nine years, I saw them three times. I should have saw them a fourth time, but I was too busy making out with a girlfriend or something. King's X, if you haven't listened to King's X, do yourself a favor, at least check out their first four albums, no, five albums, and, uh, yeah, they're amazing and totally underrated. And honestly, the like Jeff Amit or um, Mike McCready have said they are astonished that King's X weren't huge in the 90s because they are the guys who basically um, came out and did stuff that all those grunge guys were kind of copying, if you think about it, but way better. Uh, what band do I think is huge that I didn't think would become huge? That would be Ghost. I think they suck. They're so bad. If I wanted Watered Down King Diamond, I would just listen to anything after Conspiracy. But people love them, and I don't get it. I don't get it at all. It's same thing goes with Testament. I don't get it. I especially don't get either singers because they're not that good. There's your negativity, Mike. Um, and, uh, yeah, Ghost. Oh, God. If I have to hear about how great Ghost are one more time. Uh, uh, what album holds the happiest memory and why? King Diamond Abigail. In ninth grade, I borrowed two Paul Diano Battlezone CDs or cassettes from my friend Mike. A uh, can of pop blew up in my room right next to him while they were out. And my mom and I went to um, replace them. And when we were replacing them, I asked her if I could get this on cassette. So not only did my mother buy this for me on cassette, but I also played it that Christmas break, which is when the uh, can exploded. Um... After Christmas, she also bought me for Christmas the Games Workshop Talisman game, and I loved that thing. I still own it. Uh, my friend and I played it for like three, four hours, and we listened to King Diamond Abigail over and over again. So that is an amazing memory. Not only does it bring my mom into it, my friend Rob, Talisman, my friend Mike, Paul Diano Battle Zone. It also ruined my Racer X dub that my brother made me too. Ah. Um, which album in my collection have I not listened through all the way? Queen's Rake, Promised Land. Um, I don't. I may have listened to parts of it, but I don't think I listened to the whole thing. There's some later era Queen's Rake that I have yet to go all the way through, and somebody just recently told me I can't remember who told me to listen to Promised Land because they really liked it. So now that it's in my hand, I'm going to bring it upstairs and listen to it. And last but not least, show an album that has a dog on it. Dogman by King's X. This album is heavy. It's got great harmonies. It's got great guitar and bass and drums. Uh, Brendan O'Brien played on it. This thing is phenomenal. Actually, their first five albums. This is the fifth album. 
are amazing. The stuff after that is good too, but you know, it gets kind of sketchy after a while. Like, but I would still go see these guys in a heartbeat. So congratulations again, Mike on your five, uh, subscribe, 500, five subscribers, uh, here <laughs> on your 500 subscribers. Um, if for some reason you pull my name out of the hat, I don't have a working turntable. So give it to somebody who is in the UK where it won't cost you much to send because uh, it would be too expensive to send to me in the US. And um, I am trying, thinking of getting a turntable so I can listen to that, like, what, seven feet of vinyl that I have stacked up in my uh, shelves now. So, congratulations, Mike. Take it easy. Hope to see you around for a long time. Thanks.